more local news for you now. High drive, high energy shelter dogs may have a hard time getting adopted, but a couple of dogs like this have found careers in law enforcement in Reed Springs. And as our Crystal Blair tells us live in Branson tonight, they're not the kind of dogs you normally see working for a police department. Crystal? Well, David and Heather, this newest canine officer in Reed Spring is only been with the, the department for a couple of months. And what makes him so unique? Well, number one, he didn't cost them thousands of dollars because he's a rescue. And second, he's not your traditional German Shepherd or Belgian Malinois. He's a pit bull. Meet Bravo, a one-year-old pit bull rescued from a shelter in Miami, a state where pit bulls are banned in many places. You know, pit bulls get, get bad raps. Um, it's not in um, the dog itself. It is the owners. Reed Spring Police Chief Tracy West is Bravo's owner and handler. The dog was rescued and trained by nonprofits Animal Farms Foundation and Sectors Canines. These are high drive dogs. They have to have a job to do, and if they don't have a job to do, then they'll be like, you know, like a kid or a teenager. If they don't have any structure, they're going to end up doing something bad. And when these dogs are rescued, they're chosen after passing a series of tests. Whether they take a ball or food, whatever its drive is, and, you know, they will, they will hide it to see if, if, if the dog will go and search for it. Um, they have a bucket test where they'll put a ball, you know, in or the food, you know, in a bucket and see if the dog can, can locate that. I know there are some animal shelters that, you know, after you have them so many days, then they're euthanized and that's, that's not fair just because of a breed. Bravo is the second Reed Springs shelter dog to become an officer and the first purebred pit bull. Gina, the department's other canine, is a seven-year-old pit mix. Chief West says she's starting to slow down a bit. Now, Chief West also says that Bravo is very high energy, as you could see, mainly because he's a, a young dog. But he says that he also does his job very well, and he believes that pit bulls make excellent police dogs, doing their job just as good as traditional police dogs, if not better. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First.